Hey guys, it's King Ranch 13. Welcome back to another video. It is hot today. It is July. It's starting to get hot and storm weather is coming. But anyways, as you notice, we got a little bit of fishbowl syndrome in this truck. So we might be doing something for that later this video. But before we get going, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, comment down below. Just, I love comments. I'm going to take time this week or next week and respond back to every comment that I can because y'all take the time to do that. So I'm going to make sure I give the time back to y'all. So anyways, about to load up the skid steer. We got to fill in some places around some concrete that it's got some washouts in it. So before this rain comes in, got to make sure I get that compacted. But I've got the trailer already hooked up to the Denali and I'm going to get this skid steer loaded and I'm I'm gonna go ahead and take the force because I think we got something else to take care of as well. So let's get going. The truck is in tow haul mode and you got the exhaust brake on. It's a hot day. Time to go get this hustle while well, it's hot. All right, pull it up to the shop and we're gonna unload the skid steer. Let's see, where should we unload it?
Drop the truck off about six o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna get an early start to today. That way we can get my truck tinted and then also my mom and dad's truck bed line. Hopefully we get both of those things knocked out uh, pretty early on in the day so we can get all this stuff done before the weekend. And we got a bunch of other work stuff to get done by the end of the day. And today's Friday, so I'm trying to work as efficiently as I can, but we'll see how that goes. Fridays, I like to try to enjoy them as much as I can. I mean, just like any other day, but especially on Fridays, just because, you know, it's almost the weekend, so. All right, pulled in. I reckon this is where we drop it off. All right, truck is dropped off. Let's head back to Columbia. Oh man, check it out, check it out. 5%. Something on the windshield there too. Not too dark. Five percent. I think I did seventy. Let's get on the road. Oh yeah, nothing like parked in front of a Dollar General. Check it out. It looks so much better. No more fishbowl syndrome. Out. Now you can still see a little, barely a little bit through the back, but for the most part, she painted. Front windshield, 70%, but on a sunny day, I mean, my mom's actually sitting right there, but I don't think you can see her. I don't know if you can see her or not. No, you can't. Pretty pleased with how it turned out. Those guys are always awesome. I always make sure to take my trucks over there to them because they just do a really good job. I've never had to take anything back to them. They're a little bit more expensive. This was like about 330 bucks, 350 bucks or something like that. But you know, it's well worth it for the quality. A little bit inconvenient because you know, I have to drive all the way up here and get a ride and all that figured out. But you know, it's not too bad when you're paying for quality and getting quality work done. So the next part of this video is going to be uh, having to wait for uh, my mom's truck to get done. So um, the bed liner, I think it's still another couple hours out. So uh, we'll just have to wait a little bit more. A few hours later, we are here at the shop. It's Friday evening and me and my dad are still steady at it. Uh, trying to finish up the she rock. Shirtless dad at it again. But anyway, so we got the um, Denial HD here after we got the tinning done and I've already done the walk around and all that stuff. So I won't bore you with that. But my mom is uh, heading back from Monroe with the truck. So uh, she should be pulling up any minute here now. Let me see if she's out here. Guess we'll just sit here and wait for a minute. All right, let's check it out. Oh, check it out. Dang, that looks real good. Oh, look at that. That's a clean job. I have to do so myself. Huh, what's this? No idea what this car goes to. Okay, lights work. That goes to. So, as you can see, they did a really good job on that bed liner. I'm really glad of how it turned out. So, I'm so glad I was able to do that for my folks. Yeah, I'm glad they got a little something on their truck. And then I've got something on our truck there. Let me know down in the comments below what I should do to my parents' truck. I think I've got a few ideas, but I want to see what y'all are thinking if we're thinking the same thing. But maybe I guess I'll put a hand as something with the suspension, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you all so much for watching this video, guys. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Help out our YouTube channel. Let us know what you think about the videos and, and what else y'all want to see. Till next time, guys. Peace out.